Today we are going to discuss about classroom management that is very important for many teachers. Most of us, we have this difficulty to manage our classroom though we have good knowledge and we have skills to teach our students but we are lacking in classroom management. So there are a few points. These may help you in future to control your students and manage a good environment. So here the basic point or the very important point is knowing your student's background. You must know child's background because it will help you better understand child's need. Teaching is a very responsible, sensible, devoted profession. You have to play a role of a parent in a school. While playing this role, you must keep love, sympathy, care and motherhood in yourself. Now here these are the main points that you have to follow. You are an acting mother in the school. So, mothers are also expecting the same from you. So you have to think you are the mother of the whole class. Remember that a child needs love and care along with academic education. This is the first point, very first stage before starting teaching. Then universal classroom management strategies that you can follow. Model ideal behavior is demonstrate behavior you want to see by holding mock conversations and interaction with another teacher in front of your students. So that means that if you have any student uh, that you don't like or maybe the student doesn't like you, so don't show that you don't like him or her in front of the student while you are talking to another colleague. Use polite language, maintain eye contact, keep phones in your pockets. Let one another speak uninterrupted. Raise concerns about one another's statements in a respectful manner. So here, use polite language. What does it mean? Sometimes, okay, we are human beings. We get uh, angry for a few points, but you are a teacher. And of course, they are kids. You have to keep this point in your mind. You have a huge age difference. So always, even if child's language or behavior hurts you, be polite. Maintain eye contact with the whole class. So that will help you to manage or watch them. Or also it will help class to pay attention because they will be knowing that teacher is looking at us. Keep phones in your pocket. This is very important. You should not use your mobile phones inside the classroom. Let one another speak uninterrupted. That means that while a student is talking, let him or her complete the statement. Don't interrupt in the middle. Or the student should follow the same. Raise concern about one another's statement in the respectful manner. Okay, while arguing with, you are arguing on any topic or students arguing, you must respect of the opinion. Avoiding punishing in the class. Address isolated behavior issues instead of punishing the entire class so as to avoid her, your relationship with task students. Instead, call out a specific student in a friendly manner. For example, do you have a question? Not stop talking and disturbing other students so you have to focus here instead of punishing inside the classroom or scolding the students in front of other students it's better to call the students outside of the classroom when you finish the class then ask him or her what the child needs or do they have any question to ask do you need help focusing you have to ask this question, not 
pay attention and stop fooling around while I am talking. You should not say that. This basic approach will allow you to keep a friendly disposition while immediately acknowledging poor behavior. Another important point to keep in your mind is interview students. Interview students who aren't academically engaged or displaying pro-social behavior to get inside about how to better manage them. While running learning stations or a large group activity, pull each student aside for a few minutes. Ask about what helped them focus, who they work well with, their favorite types of lessons, their favorite in-class activities, which kind of exercise help them remember key lessons points. Note their answers to come up with activities and approach that engage them, thereby limiting classroom disruptions. So these are the main points you have to focus on this to improve the quality education. Addressing bad behavior quickly. Avoid hesitation when you must address bad behavior. Especially when a student breaks a documented rule. We have some classroom rules that students must follow. If someone is breaking that rule, you must address that behavior at the very beginning. Don't drag it too long. Acting sooner than later will help ensure that negative feelings, whether between a student or you and a student, won't fester. Failure to act can result in more poor behavior leading to needlessly difficult conversations. If you are not taking any step at the beginning of a student's bad behavior, this will last longer and the student will uh, disturb you all the time inside the class. You won't be focusing on your lessons while you are teaching and you won't be happy you will not have any motivational feelings to teach that class. So don't drag it too long and try to solve it at the very beginning stage. But keep in mind, it's usually best to talk to the student in private. Emerging research shows that punishing students in front of peers or other students has limited values. Number five is offer praise. Praise a student for jobs well done as doing so improves academic and behavior performance. So whenever a student does her or his job, you have to praise that student. Well done. Very good. Very nice. Keep it up. When it is sincere and references a specific example of effort or accomplishment, praise can inspire the class improves student's self-esteem, reinforce rules and values you want to see. So when you praise any student for their good effort, that will encourage other students to do the same. And also it will improve the student's self-esteem. Perhaps more importantly, it encourages a student to repeat positive behavior Praising his or her use of specific tactics should go a long way. In ensuring he or she continue to use these tactics. Not to mention, you will motivate other students to do the same, of course. Number six is build excitement for content. Start lesson by previewing particularly exciting parts, hooking student interest from the get-go. Here one thing is very important. Teacher should take interest in her own explanation. If you are not taking any interest by yourself, students will not take any interest to be sure. As the bell rings, the students settle, go through an agenda of the day's highlights. These could include group tasks, engaging bits of content and anything else to be a curiosity. For example, throughout the day, you will learn about how to talk like you are a teacher. 
Why do why you don't know anyone who's won the lottery? What all the kings of Saudi Arabia have had in common? So the goal of this classroom management technique is to immediately interest a student in your agenda and thereby dissuade misbehavior. So begin your day with few motivational questions or sentences also when you are giving them the particular knowledge or explaining the lesson in between you can try to talk to them uh, discuss about different topics so they will be engaged till the end of that session so this is very important Interaction is very important between the teacher and the student. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like my video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.